Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I am going to be trying out 50-50 makeup for the first time. This is an indie brand based in the Netherlands. Um, it's amazing because 50% of the proceeds go to charities. I believe you can choose at the checkout. I just went along with whatever was there. See, I love the message that that is sending out and the artwork on the outer packaging is stunning. I have been dying to try 50-50 makeup for a while now. Um, I have watched Nikki Raven play with so many of the palettes and every time I see her I think, oh, I really need to get something. And so I did. And I picked up the Aphrodite 2.0, which looks like this on the inside. So she may look like a neutral palette with a pop. Looks can be deceiving. There are some special shades in there. So I also picked up two of the Prism shadows and the Summer palettes. So the first Prism shadow is number 43 and that is this shade here. I haven't used that one today, but I have used number 35. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch the shift on camera. It's got like a pink to green. But yes, if you would like to see how I created this look and hear my first impressions of these products from 5050 Makeup, then just keep on watching. Firstly, I am so sorry for the uh, dodgy lighting. The sun is directly facing my window at the moment so I've got the curtains kind of half shut the ring light on so if the light doesn't look good I'm sorry but I'm just gonna have to deal with it today um, so the first color I am going in with is desire which is this one here I have been so looking forward to trying 50 50 makeup so I've seen so many amazing looks come from uh, 5050's product. I do have another eyeshadow palette from 5050. I have the Summer palette, uh, which I will play with another day. Oh, well, this is nice and easy to blend. So I'm just blending this right out because this is just our transition shade today. I do have two of the prism shadows as well. Got 35 and 43. Um, I may use them today, I may not. We'll see how the look is going. Have any of you tried 5050? If you have, what do you think of the products? And do you have a favorite product that I really have to try? I'm blending that right up so that it just fades kind of into my brow. Stop raising your eyebrows, Steph. And then next I'm going to go in with Rose. Going for more of the, uh, the pinky shades today. I'm just going to use Rose to kind of Deepen the outer V and the lower crease. Ooh. This is a pretty shade. So I've been filming my collection and declutter series. I filmed the primer, foundation and concealer video yesterday and that is currently uploading now. So that will be already live by the time this video goes up. And uh, oh, it's, it's hard work. It is hard work. I am not good at parting with anything. I just find it so difficult. 
And if I had more space, I probably wouldn't part with most of it. But I don't have masses of space, unfortunately. This is, this is pretty. Excuse the phone. I'm still getting used to that noise. When I was editing yesterday, I, uh, I kept pausing it. I kept hearing my phone go off, so I was pausing the, the editing. There was nothing on my phone, so I was rewinding, going back. Four times it took before I realised that it was my phone going off on the video. I felt a little bit silly. <laughs> I know I'm getting a bit carried away, but seeing this, I just kind of want to make it more of a bold look because this colour is absolutely stunning. I think what I had planned to do is just gone out of the window, which is absolutely fine because it's very rare that I actually follow through with the plan for eyeshadow especially like with a palette that I haven't played with before when you see how shadows perform it can really change the way that you use them so back in with desire and just to make sure those edges are soft and blended not that it really needs much help because uh this is really easy to blend out. Let's go back in with a bit more rose. I do want to deepen up the outer V a bit, so I'm going to go in with the deepest shade in the palette, and that's Lust, and just see if we can just deepen up this out of here here. So I'm using the really tiny um, Mitchell brush, it's the ME2 and it is diddy but it is perfect for the out of here, kind of not adding too much product in one go, kind of, I don't know. It works perfectly. Sir uh, Katie, Makeup for Lost Time. Um, I got this tip from her and boy am I glad because it makes such a difference. Because a lot of the time when you go to deepen up an area and you put too much, you just kind of end up with like a really dark patch and it doesn't just deepen, it kind of takes over. Whereas with this brush, it just kind of gently adds the colour. I don't know how much sense I'm making. I know what I mean. Um, I hope you do. So yeah, uh, I think I literally only had, what, an hour's sleep in bits last night. Two max. Who needs sleep when you can play with makeup, eh? So just taking a little smudgy brush, I'm going to take Lust just under, under, just on the lower lash line, just a little bit. I just want to add that bit of depth there. Then in with Rose, just on a little fluffy brush. I'm 
So just getting a really fluffy brush just to go over the edge of that there. And then I do want to take some of this Persephone, this brown shimmer, just under my lash, lower lash line, just to just add that bit of something else, and also so that I can say I've used it. So I'm just going to pop some NYX Glitter Primer on my lids just to give the shimmers something to stick to. Okay, so for my lid, the first shimmer I'm going in with is Dolphin. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh wow. Well this is a bit special, isn't it? Look at that. Ooh, that is beautiful. Look at that. It would have been worth getting this palette just for this shimmer. I love the tone. It's kind of that grey blue tone. And I love it. That is beautiful. So for the inner part of my lid, I'm going in with Aurania. Aurania, Aurania. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's beautiful. This is really, for those of you who are new, um, I love pink and blue and pink and green combos. There's just something quite magical about them, I think. I'm just tapping over the join there. I will go back in with the blue shimmer, Dolphin. And then back in with Dolphin. And then back in with Aurania. The blue shimmer is so pigmented. It is unreal, it's beautiful. This may be my favourite blue shimmer. This is so stunning. Oh, beautiful. And then I'm just going to take the little brush and go in with Lust, the dark brown just to deepen up the outer edge there. And taking a bit of rose as well. Just trying to blend together the matte and shimmer there. And then just going in over the edge there just to take away the harsh line. It's just the first brush that I had rose on. Not added any more product, just blending that edge there.
beautiful. So I'm just taking a bit of the NYX Glitter Primer and just dabbing it on the inner corner there. I'm going to go in with the Prism Shadow. This is the 35. This one here. And I'm just placing that on the inner area there. I am having to really swirl my brush around in to pick this up, but it is worth it. Look at this. I can imagine it's probably going to be better using your finger, but my fingers aren't tiny enough to go on the inner corners of my eye without getting everything everywhere. This is so pretty. Wow. And I am going to take a little bit of that and pop it under my brow there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is stunning. Look at that. Oh, the shift. And then I'm just going to gently feather the edge up here just to kind of mesh them together a little bit. Oh, this is nice. Look at that shine. It's got that beautiful green reflect in it. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Right. So. I am going to nip off and finish my face and then I will come back to show you the finished look and let you know what my first thoughts are on the Aphrodite 2.0 palette. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so I'm back with the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll just let you know what else I've popped on my face and then we will have a chat. So uh, so first the black eyeliner is the Altitude Cosmetics Catitude 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive. Brilliant. In my waterline I have the Linda Halberg Mood Crayon in Happy Mood. The mascara is the Madage Beauty Medeja Lash Mascara. I love this. Um, my lashes are from Bunny Beauty and they are in the style Miami. My blusher is from Pout and Shout and it is the shade Juicy Lucy. And that shade there. I won't open this because it's uh, shattered. My highlighter is from Makeup by Lisa and it is the shade Pink Sunshine. And lastly, before we go on to discuss the eyeshadows, the lipstick I have on is the Madage Beauty London Secura Shine Lipstick in Subaki. And here she is. It's one of my favourite lipsticks. I love the colour. I love the metallic effect it gives. Beautiful. So now we move on to 50-50. And firstly, I'm going to speak with you about the Prism eyeshadow in the shade 35. Um, that is what I have on my inner corners and brow bone highlight. This is stunning. I love that green shift in it. It's got like a green pink shift. It's beautiful. I really like this. And the Aphrodite 2.0. I love the outer packaging. Look at that. The artwork is stunning and it feels really luxurious because it's like that posh paper I don't know how else to describe it but the packaging is beautiful and then oh let's hold that so don't want to blind you and then this is the inside beautiful shades I am well aware there are neutral shades however although that one is brown these are more off more grungy tones 
and I could imagine myself doing a look with um, so aphrodisia in my crease, errors to blend out, lust on the um, outer V and the inner crease, and then eros and himeros on the lid. Beautiful. And then I think with that, the dolphin would look amazing as the inner corner highlight. So yeah, not just a neutral palette at all. Beautiful. So the mattes were so easy to blend. They are pigmented without being over the top. So you can go in slowly and build up or you can go heavy and bam, there's your pigment. Um, I can definitely see what the fuss is about with these shadows. And the shimmers, that blue shimmer, dolphin, wow. The tone of blue that it is, is it's just stunning absolutely stunning and I can see that becoming a favorite within my collection because it is so beautiful and I don't have another blue shimmer like it with all the blue shimmers I have none have that tone so for first impressions I love it I cannot wait to play with it some more and I'm even more excited about playing with the summer palette Yes, I can definitely see what the hype is about. So I have Nikki Raven to thank for getting me hooked. Because I think now I am hooked. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I will leave it there for today. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I am a lover of all things makeup, especially colourful makeup, and I'm a huge supporter of indie brands. So if that sounds like something that you can vibe with, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.